Hey, this is Mike. Today I want to talk about RMG Acquisition Corp because this is a SPAC that was getting a lot of attention. It got really beaten up yesterday, down almost 13% and continues to go down another 4% right now to 14.85. So the question is, one, should you sell if you have it and should you buy into it if you don't have it? My answer is, this is a stock that's definitely giving you an opportunity to get into it. Um, what you really have here is just you're getting short-term selling. This was a stock that, look, on November 18th was at 10 they moved all the way up to 1775. That's a 75% move. It usually, when you have a big move, it gives back about half of that. So we may get down to 14. Now I know that's really painful if you got in at you know 15, 16, and 17, but I think it's going to give back about half the gains that it got. So when it began to move up, so I do think it's going to move back down to four, the 14 level. However, I do think it's going to stabilize and move up. Um, the thing you have to look at the RMG acquisition and the other SPACs is that there's nothing, there's no bad news that's coming out with these SPACs. It's just they moved up so high so fast they got overbought. And when you get overbought, you get the short term selling and you've got to find like a, a level of equilibrium here. And the level of equilibrium is probably going to be about $14 a share. We're probably going to have a down day today. So I know that's bad news. Like I said, if you've been holding on for a while, but I would say try not to panic sell because then you're going to kick yourself even harder when the stock begins to move back up. And I do think it will be begin to move back up. So Romeo Acquisition is doing a merger with Romeo Power Technology. And basically Romeo Power Technology creates advanced batteries for EV vehicles. You can see here in the picture, this could be concentrated on commercial vehicles or vehicles that will have um, a really high demand for really powerful batteries. And Romeo is claiming that they have the most advanced batteries with the highest energy density. And of course, EV vehicles are the future. We're in, a, an incredible, we're in the midst of an incredible revolution that has not even reached its halfway point. It's probably, you know, electric vehicles are what, maybe five, less than 10% of all the cars that are being sold right now. And pretty soon, the majority of vehicles are going to be EV. I think Arc, Kathy Wood at Arc said by 2025, the majority are going to be EV vehicles, or she said, the average price of an EV vehicle will be less of, than the average price of an internal combustion engine vehicle. So that means anything related with EV automakers, uh, batteries, lithium, all of those are going to have an incredible run over the next couple of years. So you need to have a long-term uh, perspective on these SPACs and when these SPACs merge into their, you know, the respective companies. So if you're in a panic right now, I will say it's probably best just to hold on because there are not too many opportunities. I think the market's going to be negative for the next couple of days. So it's not like you can sell and jump into something else that will give you a better deal. I would just say hold on. If you're not into RMG acquisitions, this is actually a pretty good time. I know it can be scary buying on the way down. So maybe you wait for it to level off and then begin to buy on the way back up. But I do think that RMG will probably get down to 14 before it begins to move back up. But definitely keep your eye on these specs. I know that the move downward is scary, but I do think by the end of the year, they'll be higher um, at a higher level than they than they are right now. And I think going forward, all these companies are going to be doing really well. So definitely take a look at trades on the NYSE and the symbol RMG. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and go ahead, subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options and stock trading strategies. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.